So here we are at the Cobham stand here at NAB 2013. This is the first of two videos that we're going to be doing here. I've got Max with me. Hello, Max. Hello. And we're going to be talking about mini RF transmitters and encoders. Tell us a little bit about what we've got here. Okay, what we have here is our latest and greatest uh, evolution in shrinking the yeah. uh, package of a um, uh, COFDM DVB-T transmitter. Uh, it's a standard definition only version. Yeah. Uh, 100 milliwatts of power but uh, at broadcast quality right. pictures. Uh, what we've done, a little gimmicky uh, setup, showing yeah. it with a, with a GoPro. Uh, so we're kind of shrinking it to the level that you can kind of yeah. do this sort of application. And people have been quite interested, in it, been drawn to it because of that. Um, in about six months time, we are looking at aiming to release the HD variant right. of the same product, which will feature HDSDR interfaces, yeah. HDMI interfaces, uh, and again, DVB-T, COFDM, with the usual performance that you get out of that. Uh, about three, 400 yards, no line of sight, yeah. maybe one mile or two with line of sight, high gain antennas, and so forth. And we're looking at something this sort of size yeah. as a transmitter. Absolutely. So this is uh, going to be coming most, the most interesting yeah. DVB-T transmitter on, on, on the planet. <laughs> Uh, looks amazing. What else do we have here? I know we've got some uh, others. What we have is uh, um, this year at I uh, NAB we've uh, launching a whole ran a range of um, IP encoder products. Yep. Uh, we developed a broadcast um, IP encoder which allows uh, not only a video IP streaming yep. uh, solution but it allows uh, Wi Fi connectivity and Bluetooth connectivity. Right. Uh, what that means uh, is that um, in a typical scenario where a news reporter uh, wants to obviously hear the audio back yep. from the studio and um, and audio to the studio. Yep. Uh, we've uh, increased the facility of creating such a such a connective such a connection by using Bluetooth, right. adding Bluetooth to the unit, uh, which means that the uh, the reporter can be completely detached from the uh, cameraman and the studio itself by listening to the uh, studio IFB audio yep. into his Bluetooth earpiece and again and the audio from the microphone over the Bluetooth interface. Uh, again, uh, giving more flexibility yeah. of um, how um, news, news um, um, presenters uh, work in, in those applications. Excellent. So uh, you've shown us three items here. I'm going to go and ask the complicated question of availability of these. Do you have any idea when these are going to be available to market? Um, well, the SD variant is being released uh, uh, as of now. Right. So it will be soon going into production. Probably in the next month or so yeah. will be a, a production item. Uh, the HD variant is still under development, so we're looking at launching it uh, at um, IBC, so that will be September this year. So probably aim for a production uh, and towards the end of the year, sure. effectively. And the encoding? The encoding is, uh, is, is going to production in the next couple of months. So uh, it's, uh, we're already talking to uh, a whole bunch of broadcasters who are interested in its functionality and its small package and all the flexibility that we can give them. Um, at the moment, they're having to use maybe a multiple set of equipment um, and not always able to you know, operate, yeah. interoperate between each other. So having one solution in one package will help them a lot. That's great, Max. Thank you. Now, if people want to find out some information about these and, of course, all the other Cobham products, is there a website they can go to? Indeed, uh, www.cobham.com uh, slash forward slash TCS, uh, which is the UK office which handles all this, all this stuff. Max, thank you very much. Uh, go and have a look at their website. Uh, we've used Cobham Kit before and we think it's fantastic. You should definitely go and have a look and find out some more information about all their products and services. Everything we've been doing here at NAB 2013 is on our website, which is broadcastshow.com.